Hello widget watchers, welcome back to another video, in this video we are going to see how you can make use of local storage in Flutter application. Like here, I have added a name in this text field, and when I tap onto this button, my username is saved into the local storage. Now if you close the app and restart this application, then my username has persisted into the app, so let's see how we can implement this feature in our Flutter application. So for doing that I have this empty project and then come into this pubspec.yaml file. And here add shared preferences package, after adding that package tap onto this pub get option. Then come into your main.dart class, and. Then come into this my home page, and here create a shared preference variable, and also add late here because we are going to initialize this variable in future. And now import the shared preferences package, and then create another string variable to store the username, and then create a text editing controller for the text field. Then here create the init state and inside this call the init prefs method. Now let's create this method, and here also add a async because, in this function we are going to you make use of await. And now here, let's initialize prefs. So first here add await, then shared preference then dot get instance. Now come into this UI part, and from here remove this text widget, and here add text field and then inside it, I have added the decoration parameter, which going to help in showing the hint text, now also add the controller to this text field, and this controller is showing error, let me see what's the issue, and yeah from here remove the const, now the error is gone, and add the const for the decoration. Then come down here and here create an elevated button, and for the child part, give it a text widget, which says save, and then come above here, then add on pressed method, and here assign the name value by making use of name controller, and then set this name value to our preferences. And here we are using set string method because name is string, you can make use of another methods like set double or set int or others things. Okay now, apart from this, this method also needs a unique key, so that while saving the data, you assign a unique key so that you can get the same data by using the same unique key. So that is why we need to use unique key here, then let's remove this name from here and assign the name by using name controller only, and then here assign the name value by using preferences, then add the const for this text widget. Now come down here and add a sized box. So copy this sized box from here, and add this above here. And then here add a text widget, and here we will show the username, so write the string username then name, but this name could be null. So here let's add a check that if name is null then we are going to show the empty string otherwise it is going to show the name. Okay now come up above here inside this method, and here assign the name by using preferences, now add the set state so that, if username is available, and username is assigned to our name variable, then the UI will get updated. Okay now copy this set state from here and also add that in the elevated button, so that name filled whenever this get updated, UI will get notified. Okay now, save the code and wait until the app is getting installed, now the app is installed, so here let's add the widget wisdom and tap onto the save button, so username is added to here. And now let's close the application and run the application again, and again wait for some time until the app is getting installed. Now when the app is installed, you can see we have a username here, so that was it for this video now if you have learned something new from this video, then please do like, share and subscribe to Widget Wisdom.